Alright, so what we're going to do now is set up a user in our application with administrator privileges. And the user we're going to use is our user that we set as admin. It doesn't have to be titled admin, it could be Joe. But in our case, we've set up this special admin account that we've called admin. But again, you could set this to any one of your accounts that you like. So what we're going to do is open up a new terminal here. And I'm going to close that Rails console that I had there. And we're going to reopen the console, actually. So I'm just going to say Rails C. And what I'm going to do in here first is I want to find that user. And to do that, I'm going to type in user.last. And then in brackets, put we're going to put three in here because I know I only have three users. But this here could be, you know, 20, 100, whatever you want. Press enter on that. And I know it was my first user here. So you can see here user ID one. And I called this person admin. There's the email and all that stuff. I'm going to log into the site as this user here. And I'm going to sign in. Just pasting that in. And let's check out an article here. And we can see there's no buttons available to this user. We're going to switch that up here now. So I'm just going to clear the screen. That's Control L. Now what we want to do is let's grab that first user. So we're going to say A equals, and this A could be anything. It could be B, C, you could call it admin, whatever you want. But I'm just going to call my variable A. And I'm going to say equals user dot find. And then in brackets, I'm going to say one. So now we can see that's that first user, admin, what have you. So if I just type A in, I get the user. So I'm going to clear the screen. And let's take a look here at our database. So it's in the DB folder. We want to go to the schema file here. And we can see here that in the users table, we've got this admin field. We set this up back in the beginner's guide. It's either a true or false setting. It's a Boolean field, so it can only be false or true. All right. Down here, I'm going to grab that user, just hitting A, and we can see here the admin field is set to false. To set that to true, what we want to say is A dot admin space equals true. So on this, we just hit enter. Now it's set to true, so if I type in my A variable again, you can see down here admin now equals true. I'm going to clear the screen, but if I say user dot first, and this is the same as user dot find one, okay, we know that that user is the first user. But we can see here that it's still admin false. So we actually have to save that variable. We have to save that into here now. So to do that, all we do is type in a.save. And you can see it says commit transaction, all the SQL stuff. And if we go to user.first, there we go. Down here, the admin is now set to true. Let's check out our site. All we got to do in here now is hit the refresh. And there's all our buttons. We can delete, edit, anything. Let's go back here to the home page, check out the second article. And there's all our buttons as well. So let's try to edit this comment here by user two. Just put in here, edit made by admin, something like that, Take the comment, and there's our edit right there. The other thing we want to do here is there's these pipes happening in here, and I don't want this first one, 
So this is just some housekeeping stuff here. So let's go to the comments page and we can delete this pipe here and we can delete this pipe here. Let's see what that does for us. There we go. It doesn't matter. It's just a just some something that was bugging me there. And so all right guys, that wraps up the can can section. We'll see you here coming up in a second. Thanks so much. Listen.